Hi there. We're continuing our journey through the Psalms, the Tehillim, and we're in Psalm 68 in the Hebrew letter numeral system. That's Samech Chet. Samech is 60 and Chet is 8. This is for again for the chief musician, Lam Natsach. It's a David, it's a Davidic song, uh, and it's a Shir, it's a, called a song, and a Mizmor, a musical composition. And this psalm very much looks back to the rescue of Israel from Egypt and from his, their encounter in the desert with the Lord, how the Lord took them through the wilderness. And so it opens up, the words that it opens up with are, Rise, Lord, let your enemies be, be scattered, that those who hate you flee before you. And this was the cry that was used when the presence of the Lord, when the cloud of the Lord moved on and the people would move. And so it's a recalling of that cry and saying, actually, God, your enemies are fleeing before you and they are uh, they are turning around and they are being routed. And God, you are doing what you said you would do. And so it's kind of saying that we are experiencing this now. But the godly will rejoice, rejoicing in God's presence and that word is face in Hebrew panav in 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 face panim it means that the thing that the part of him that turns and presence is always face in Hebrew and so he says let them be filled with joy sing praises to God Re rejoice over him sing praises to him who rides on the clouds remember God appeared to his people in cloud by day and fire by night and this is the God who rides on the clouds. This is God who, when the cloud comes, he is in the midst of it. And it says, rejoice it before his face again. And then here's the qualities of God. He's the father of the fatherless. He defends the widows. His dwelling is a holy place. And then he, he does wonderful things. This is beautiful verse here. In verse 6, he places the lonely, the solitary in families. He sets prisoners free and he gives them joy. But those who rebel against him end up living in a, a land that is scorched by the sun. So there's a blessing in following God. And there's this recognition that as his people, when they follow him, they are, they are in a good place. But when they rebelled against him, as they often did in the wilderness, they were living in a place of, uh, of dryness and of being arid. And he says, when you, made, when you marched your people out of Egypt, you marched them through the wilderness. The earth trembled, the heavens poured down rain, and, and it's, it's a praise of this God who is the God of Sinai. And when your people finally settled in a weary land, when you've settled in a land that wasn't properly established, then you gave them bountiful harvest and you provided for your needy people. So there's this move here from the desert and God brought them into the promised land, into a place where uh, they can settle. It says the Lord gives the word and the great army comes forward. And of course, they, they conquered the land. They came in, the kings and the armies fled before them. And uh, <clears throat> there, there, were, there was treasures there silver and gold found in that land the enemy kings were scattered remember the kings of bashan the the kings uh, the, 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 it says that you blew like a snowstorm on mount Talmud, and the kings were scattered and then there's this question why are you looking enviously at mount zion you mountains of bashan you mountains of the north why are you looking enviously at zion because this is where god now has chose to dwell this one who's come from sinai who's come down and he's uh, he's come to his sanctuary to his holy place this is the place which david established in zion the place where the ark was placed and now the people are coming and they're worshiping not out in the wilderness but now here in zion and he says, when you ascended, you went up to the high places, God. You went up to the high places and you took captivity captive. You made a captive of captivity itself. And you received gifts among men. You received gifts for men, some translations have. So that even among, even among those who had rebelled against you, God was still gracious to those who had rebelled against him. Even though Israel rebelled, she received gifts from him. And now the Lord will live among us this is the, the Emmanuel God is going to be with us says the psalmist this is an amazing promise that God has traveled with his people it's about his presence it's about the fact that he's been with them all this time he's promised he's given them the promised land and now he's still living with them in this sanctuary of David which has been established which is what the song is all about we're leaving our study there we'll come back to this uh, next time uh, this is up to verse 18 
But let's rejoice at the fact that God leads his people and he comes himself by his own presence. His own face is present among his people and we can know and touch and be close to that face today. Have a good day.